Hi everyone, welcome to the session where we will learn about how to open a Jupyter Notebook in Windows 10 and we will learn several methods like how to open Jupyter Notebook uh, via the Anaconda Navigator again by searching the Jupyter in the Windows 10 search bar uh, then opening through Anaconda prompt opening the existing notebook and uh, open the notebook without a browser and without using the uh, like a default local host so let's proceed with our very first uh, anaconda navigator so what, what we'll do in our search bar we'll type anaconda navigator it will come just click on it uh, so what i will do this will take some time so i will uh, like fast forward it and uh, we'll see when this anaconda is open okay so this is our uh, anaconda like uh, editor is there and we have the jupyter notebook here right so we can see that once we uh, like click the launch button the jupyter notebook will be launched yeah this is the so what we'll do we'll go here and we will click on python 3 okay and then our uh, jupyter notebook will be started and uh, untitled will will change the name to test demo one something like this and rename it okay so this has rename and we'll say that print okay and then we will execute this so this is done so uh, the, the first part is completed now what we will do we will uh, work on the second part okay so what i will do i will come here i'll go here i will i will shut down this and then i'll close this notebook now i'll go and search the jupyter instead of going to Nav anaconda and opening all the other features i don't want to do that i'll simply want to open the jupyter notebook. so i'll say that jupyter notebook anaconda 3 okay so here automatically my again my uh, jupyter notebook will uh, will be started okay and we have to just create a python 3 say this as a test demo 2 a test script whatever you and then i will print here print this is my second jupyter notebook so this is also completed we will save it and we will again close this so before closing what will go will uh, our session will be running for this so we will shut down this and then we will close the jupyter notebook and, and the browser also everything will be closed and we'll close this also now after this we have a third part which is like through anaconda prompt so you type in the window search bar a n a anaconda prompt will come you click on this okay now in this anaconda prompt just type just type jupyter notebook okay so again jupyter notebook will start from the anaconda prompt now again what we can do we can go here we can create a python 3 script uh, from jupyter and we can run it so i will say print this is my third so we will again we will we will come here we will shut down this and we will close the browser and everything till here we are fine if we give control c here it will come out of this session will be out okay now the next thing is through open the existing notebook first of all where did we save okay if we again if I give the Jupyter Notebook, if I give Jupyter Notebook and uh, we have saved these three, right? Test Demo 1, Test Demo 2 and all these things. Okay, see, this is my test demo and uh, this is what we have saved uh, a while back. Now, if I want to see where it is saved, what I'll do, I'll create one more cell and I'll give simply PWD. So, under C, under Users, right? So, we'll go my PC. So, we'll go my PC under C, Users and you can see here, right? under c user imran okay so if you come here you can see uh, whatever i have saved Te uh, test demo 1 test demo 2 and whatever like every all the files is saved here after this we will come out of this session this is my jupyter notebook i will close it now what i will do i want to from here itself i want to open the existing jupyter and so what we'll do we'll run the test demo 2 test hyphen demo 2 so when we run this, it will open the existing notebook and now uh, it will uh, trigger a new browser. Okay, so this is my test demo 2. What is my next topic to cover? See, we have covered all the top four topics. Now open a notebook without a browser. See, whenever we are running this, a browser is getting triggered automatically, right? I don't want to open that browser. I want to get this link here and then copy paste that this in my browser. How do we do this? So, press ctrl c it will come out for clearing the screen i have given cls now uh, what i will do i don't want to trigger the browser so for this i will say jupyter notebook hyphen hyphen no hyphen 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 browser okay hyphen hyphen no hyphen browser if you give this say in this case a directory uh, 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 
browser is not ringing what we can do so what i will do i will copy this and paste in a like a notepad and i'll get this link because here the, my copy is not working so i will i'll copy this or this link and open this this session and i'll go to my uh, browser and open it create a new python file you name it as uh, test4 and here you say print open jupyter uh, notebook without uh, like trigger triggering the browser okay so this is also like done we will again go and we'll press control c and we'll be out of this session and this will also be this session will also be go in this case you see the local host host colon 8891 was the like a port number i don't want to use the port number i want to give my own port number in that case you have to give jupyter jupyter notebook and then you have to give hyphen hyphen port 9999 in this case a browser will be triggered with local host colon 9999 okay so you can see a new browser is like triggered with the local host 9999 here you can see right 9999 now from here i do i don't want to trigger i want to use like port of my choice and without uh, like uh, triggering the browser in that case you can say like this jupyter notebook and then you have to say hyphen hyphen no hyphen browser And then hyphen hyphen port and then the same nine nine nine. Let's see how it works. So I will take this and again I will run it because my browser is not triggered. I will simply copy this in my browser. And here you can see the uh, Python file. If you want to create a Python file, then uh, Python three you select and then you select that and a new uh, node jupyter notebook will be selected now what if you want to get the help from the jupyter notebook in that case you have to type jupyter jupyter notebook then you type hyphen hyphen help okay this is all the help that is available for you now even if you want to get the more help you can type jupyter notebook hyphen help and then hyphen all So this way you can see how the Jupyter notebook uh, like a help works in Jupyter notebook. You can see each and every function how it is related. Like you can get all the information here. Okay. So in this session we have learned how to open Jupyter by using the Anaconda uh, or using the Jupyter in the search bar or by through the Anaconda prompt. And I even I have also showed you how to open the existing notebook, how to modify it, and how to uh, like open a notebook uh, directly from a browser. You can copy the link and then open it as in a browser. then i have also showed you how to like uh, uh, open a notebook without using a default local host port you can use your own port okay and after that we have covered how to use the jupyter notebook so thanks a lot for watching the session if you feel this video helps helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and in my next video i will be coming up with uh, the basics of uh, how to use the jupyter notebook uh, how to create the cells how to execute it how to to come across the different functionality of the jupyter and i so i will see you in my next video thank you